Welcome back everybody. It is time to review my Halloween Pinterest pins for the month of July. Now I did start last month a what I hope to be a monthly installment of my favorite pins um, for the month. All these things that I'm going to dream about one day doing but of course never ever ever actually do. So without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in and take a look at some of these pins. Okay, so here is my Pinterest page. Of course, I've got some general Halloween ideas. You're welcome to follow me along. Um, but today we are going to be taking a look at my Halloween picks for July. If you do want to follow me, um, I believe my name here is Colonel Mustard, K-R-N-L-M-U-S-T-R-D. And uh, if you follow me along, I'd love to follow you back and we'll have some fun checking out each other's pins. So let's just jump right in. This one I thought was pretty cool. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I love these Halloween luminaries. I always say I'm going to make them, of course. <laughs> I haven't really done it yet, but we're going to do it maybe this year. I really thought this looked cool. They made them look all like little ghosts with all these fun little faces all lit up. The only thing is, I have no straight staircases in my house. Um, I've got three staircases and none of them are straight. so. It's unfortunate because I think this looks pretty cool all you know in one big long row up the stairs so maybe it's something you can do if you do do this please take a picture send it my way I'd love to see it um, but this is something I would definitely strive for I might try and actually do this on the pathway leading down to my house but you know unfortunately the pathway is going down a hill so it, it'd be hard to see all the faces while you're going down but you'd see them going up I don't know something to ponder. So that is the flame-free Halloween luminaries. Clearly they will use those little fake tea light candles or um, whatever other sort of battery operated candles you can use. Next up, I kind of like this. Um, they call it a DIY beloved cloche. Now this I thought was pretty neat um, with the little skeleton hand holding onto the flower underneath the dome. This is I am assuming this is photoshopped. It is beautiful, but it's that sort of beautiful that, you know, doesn't look real. We're never going to achieve it, but certainly we could probably try and get something very similar to it. I mean, you know, a um, purple rose we can get from the Dollar Tree store, put it in a tall cloche with, you know, that skeleton hand might be a little hard to replicate. And that tiny little picture might be hard to get something to print clearly. Um, so I'm not sure I you know, trust the scale of this whole image, but it's definitely, you know, the idea that we're going for. And in fact, I'm going to call, well, this is pin 2. I'm going to call this pin 2A because this is pin 2B, which is very similar. It doesn't really have a description here, but um, I saw a description elsewhere where these are pretty much just... Um, two liter bottles with the tops cut off and the bottoms cut off put on a little base I'm not sure what these are. I guess they're just sort of like big round um, balls or marbles of some sort um, So that shouldn't be too hard to find but you know, this is an easy way to get that cloche look That's really inexpensive. And these definitely look a little bit more realistic. Clearly. This is the top of a bottle but you know just some teeth in there one of those um, fake skulls on some grasses with a little branch in the background. Uh, maybe these are, you can get from the Dollar Tree, those little fake tombstones. Um, I'm not sure what this heart is, but you know, you could get some red tissue paper, um, put a little fake blood dripping down it. That really sells this one. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, but this, I definitely, again, think is an achievable pin. All right, third up is this um, Halloween skull wreath. They say super easy here, and I completely agree. Um, these are Dollar Tree, I'm assuming, Dollar Tree styrofoam skulls, the glitter kind. And I I don't know if they ran a wire through them um, or maybe just hot glued them onto some sort of round um, base. Maybe that's something that you can also get at the Dollar Tree, some sort of wreath base, I'm not sure. Um, but I know you can get wreath hangers from the Dollar Tree. Um, so, you know, just some hot glue, a couple little pieces, and some ribbon. Um, again, super easy. And I've been looking forward to getting some sort of, you know, wreath to put on my front door. And this, I think, is pretty dramatic 
and it's again in achievable. I'm trying to pick some bins that you know I could possibly do. Whether I never actually get around to doing them is another story. Now this I saw and I immediately was like, I have to do that. These are bubbling key lime mousse cauldrons. So I read through it. My first thought was that this cauldron was made of chocolate. And if you made that out of chocolate, this would be completely amazing. But they have listed in here silicone cauldron baking cups. So I am not sure where to get those. I'm sure I haven't looked it up online, but I may end up trying to do that because I'm this is I actually think I am going to try and do this. Um, so they basically take the mold, which I think should be chocolate, fill it up with this key lime mousse that they make. I love key lime. Um, and then, you know, these little sprinkled bits um, with some eyes, some bones, some bugs, um, really sell it with the, I don't know what these are, what do they call them? Oh, I never know how to pronounce this word. Um, non -pareils. Um Those little ball things. Makes it look like bubbles um, with a little... Um, pretzel stick to stir. I think this is just amazing. So props to whoever came up with this pen. Um, I guess gigglesgalore.net. It looks really impressive. I'm going to try it. Hopefully it's easy because I can totally see myself serving this in, as a dessert um, at some sort of Halloween party. Now from delicious to gross. <laughs> I've seen this pen before. I, this is, I can honestly say, this is something that I am not going to do. This is disgusting. They have basically taken these little fake bugs, like they're streaming out of some sort of vent. And even if that's not a real vent, which doesn't look like it is because it's all um, mucky, you know, you could just make a little printout of a vent or even just get a real vent and sort of fake it with some, some sort of slime, I don't know. I can totally see that people at your Halloween party if they walked into a bathroom and saw this, they'd probably walk right out and be like, I'm going to hold it because that is disgusting. My only concern would be, you know, how are they attaching this stuff to the walls? I never trust um, those little adhesives that you can stick on something to stick on the wall. I've had too much bad luck with those, whether it leaves a residue on the wall or it'll peel the paint when you try and take it off. So um, if you do opt for a creepy gross factor like this just be aware of of that fact this i thought was like a showstopper it's just so simple and so easy and so effective you've got a black balloon and then just some crepe papers um streamers right to make it look like legs and there you've got a spider so you could do these all over your house look like you'll have a spider infestation and you know what's it going to cost you you can get a packet of balloons for a dollar um, some streamers for you know a dollar or so from the dollar tree and there you go so amazing cheap and effective i've lost count so what are we at one two three four five six seven we're up to eight now i have always wanted to do these little body bags. Every year I say I'm gonna do it because it's such an easy thing to do. Um, but you know, you gotta pull your materials together and you know, <laughs> that's it. You just gotta pull your materials together and make it. It's not hard. A bag with some filler in the shape of a body, duct taped together um, to keep it in the body shape. These people have plussed this with the skeletons. They're pulling this body around. Um, I think this is really cool and uh, something I'd like to do someday. It's a someday project. All right. Nine or is, is this nine? I've completely lost track. It doesn't matter. Um, so here, uh, I don't know why I picked this pen. It's not something I would ever need or make, but I thought it was, you know, kind of a showstopper. If I saw somebody wearing this dress, I would have to come up and look at it. You know, it's this sort of skeleton with a big long tail um, like a dragon of some sort and this gown is just really pretty so you, know, you can make yourself up on the front side as something and then you know the back side you've got this show-stopping design so pretty cool pin there all right this is something that i thought was pretty easy that we can replicate as well in fact i thought it was kind of a clever and unique idea i did buy a whole bunch of 
um, these witches hats that I wanted to do something with. And I like how they have just, again, taken streamers, attached them to the inside of the hat, just let it hang. It just gives that kind of impression of a witch, of a body. Now, I think in this situation, they're using this as like a, um, like a chandelier type centerpiece to their table. But, you know, you could hang these around in various places around your house, um, put a grouping of them together, maybe with different colors. I can definitely see it as green because, you know, which typically might be green. Um, and there you go. It's a simple, easy, effective way to make a witch um, without actually going around of actually making some sort of witch face. All right. This is my last one, um, aside from the honorable mention, which I'm saving for last. This pin I thought was pretty neat. It is um, a little skeleton inside a cauldron. Looks like it's got some, um, uh, what do you call it? Cotton pulled apart. And I guess these are just sort of glass um, Christmas ornaments. You know, if you don't decorate your bathroom, especially if you're having a party, you should. Just something like this sitting on the, you know, the edge of a counter or if you have like a, a big surround on your tub or something. Or even if you had, you, know, you could replicate this in a giant size and put them in a real tub if you had a full size skeleton. It'd take a whole lot of material, but you could do it. Um, but even on a smaller scale, I could see something like this put on a sink. I think it is really cute and I'm all for decorating the bathrooms. So those are my July pins. Let me go ahead and show you this honorable mention. It's something like these pins that I showed you, certainly things that we can replicate very easily. Not that one because we know that's Photoshop, but uh, well, I shouldn't say I know it's Photoshop. I don't want to get sued. It might be real. We don't know. <laughs> but these, that one might be a little complex, but I think the rest of these are you know, within the realm of doing. This last one is just really awesome. Not really Halloween, it's kind of tiki Hawaiian, um, but you know, I saw it when I was searching for Halloween pins. Um, this is definitely not in the realm of doing at all, but it is really awesome. Could you imagine somebody having this in their yard? Um, the steps leading up to this giant sort of tiki man with his fire eyes, that is just amazing. All right, so that does it for my pins of the month. Make sure you stay tuned for next month. If you didn't check out my June pins, make sure you give those a quick peek because I picked some good ones last month too, I think. But let me know, what do you think? Are you gonna try any of these? Did I pique your interest, hopefully? I know uh, it just gives me lots of project ideas again that I know I'm never gonna do. I'm already running out of time for the things that I already know I wanna do, let alone add, adding to my list. But anyway, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more. Hope you're subscribed. If not, make sure you hit that button and the like button and all that jazz. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Happy haunting.